It's John and Rachel, and we're jagging around with people's gas today. And it is a little bit different of a jagging around, but it's a serious topic, but you're going to smile at the end. And Lindsay, tell us what we're doing today. Yeah, thank you for coming today. So we're at Queen of Heaven Cemetery, located in Cannonsburg. We've been doing this for eight years now, so we serve local cemeteries. We gather a group of volunteers, anywhere from five of us to 50, like we have today. So we come out to the cemeteries, we clean them up, we place flags, veteran flags in the graves. We make a day of it and it's just a great way to give back two questions i have what does cleaning up mean so is there typically like debris that you're kind of just going organically or garbage bags kind of picking everything and getting rid of it so that it looks presentable yes so okay. in this cemetery no <laughs> this one's well kept um and they have folks that take care of it on a regular basis several of the other other cemeteries yes there's trash there's tires we found a washer and dryer in a cemetery one year who does that yeah so there was a lot of heavy lifting that year with that cleanup but yeah we clean up brush and the grass of it being cut and just restore it back to give respect to the folks and the families that it serves it is raining but they they are used to this not that you know but their dedication is still Huge, right? Yes, yeah, and it's actually a curse, as we say. It's <laughs> like it's always rain. Three Rivers Arts <laughs> Festival and your cemetery cleanup. It's it just is. bound to rain. It's just part of it, right? It is. Yeah. One quick question for you: the co-workers of veterans. Do you have veterans that work for you? Yes. So do you see that interaction where the veterans are here, but their co-workers are a little, maybe a little more, you know, re respectful today, right? Exactly. I mean, it's it's important and at all at the end of all of it no matter who you are um, a family member that was a veteran or you are a veteran you deserve that flag it's important to me especially my pap was a world war ii beaches of normandy d-day purple heart earner he deserves it they deserve it and that's why we're here